sister oh, mom there all of them to come it's over it's crazy dad mom sister, sister i could understand maybe they were like you know they were confused also that <laughs> we told this boy and this boy is like you know now the family is here so now what to talk yeah and they were little hesitating also and i could completely understand just appreciating for whatever like you know they have done uh, for me they came specially to meet my family they came for meet me it was such uh, you know a pleasure yeah for me and my family especially and after that like we went to delhi yeah we went to delhi yeah, and she felt sick yeah i felt sick she was hospitalized yeah we, i was hospitalized also i think i was kind and of was, like culture I, shock right. I remember my my mom told her that you know why uh, just give me seven days seven days of time. Mm. After that, if you feel the same, then my son will drop you back to your country. Yeah. And she said okay. And I remember my mom used to make mango shakes for her. Yeah. Because she never used to eat anything else. Did she? She, no, actually, you know she what? She never used to eat Indian food. Yeah. She didn't like the masala we use. Yeah, but actually, it's just it about your mind. Actually, you know what? Because that time, I completely didn't want to even try once. Seriously, I didn't even think to, you know, try it even once. It's just like you know, okay, like you know, Indian food is just yucky, yucky, and it's just like that. But now, though, like I can adjust. I can eat even. Yeah, now that she eats almost everything. Yeah, I eat everything like Indian food, Lebanese the, food, whatever. The food that my mom cooks. Yeah, it's amazing. Like his mom is just you know a very good cook actually. Very nice. So yeah, after that, that we went back to Indonesia because apparently, like you know, my dad wanted Vin to come and like specially propose me in front of the family. The family. And in fact, that Vin so proposed. We, we didn't share that you proposed me before we went to yeah, Delhi. He you. proposed me in TV on the program of Internet Blog Indonesia, and it was so surprising. Live on TV, it was so surprising. How can you say no when someone proposes you guys in front of the TV, right? <laughs> so I just say yes, and then like yeah, the story continue with Malike. We went Delhi, and then we we went back to Delhi, and we went back again to Indonesia, and then uh, you proposed me right in front of my my dad. Yeah, like so we had to do. Proposal. No, before the wedding proposal, actually he specially I asked. You. Yeah, I, I had to ask the permission yeah. that I want to marry uh, Nita. Yeah, marry, according to Chinese culture. Yeah, no, but actually my dad didn't approve whatever on the TV happening. My dad didn't yeah. approve so anything. He said that you have to do the same in front of us. Especially like we were sitting. I still remember we were sitting in my dad's office in our home. We were sitting and then like uh, he specially like asked to my dad that you know uh, like um, can I yeah can I marry I Nita to, uh, I want to marry your daughter yeah. would you allow me yes kind of like that <laughs> and then like my dad say yeah yes and then we arranged the wedding proposal in Bandung it was so short yeah, it was period a, yeah because. We also so I was there for yeah. a month. We were preparing, preparing for the. I think the, less than one month, babe. Yeah, maybe less than. Kind of less than one month because, in fact, that I didn't invite my whole friends. It was so bad, actually. What for whoever that watching my video right now? So sorry if you guys my friend. Seriously, because it was so short uh, period of time. For preparing everything in fact that my friend my best friend Sylvie also even asked like Nita do you want something to help and because, we had to go yeah. back uh, soon to Delhi, to Delhi because we had to prepare, prepare for the wedding, wedding. oh my god that it was so hectic actually because a uh, short period of time in Bandung for preparing all the stuff because my grandma my dad wanted 
us to make some celebration so all my friends all my family other families also like you know can see that me Nita Soviani as the daughter of Herman Jojo Hidayat like shifted to another country so yeah kind of like that so yeah and then after that Finn's mom came back to Bandung right yeah, so to attend the wedding proposal yeah it in fact that beautifully arranged yeah it uh, was amazing I just can't say thank you enough for Ko Undung that helped a lot in the main day I can't thank uh, like you know enough to Komuli that helping for Hilton uh, arrangement to Cafe de Chocolate uh, decorator everyone that helping for the main day for Chiberti for the makeup for everyone they are so amazing they are so so amazing everyone They're, was so helpful yeah yes. very helpful and thank you so much for that and also that in fact that yeah Finn's mom came for twice and my sister also and sister Kimi came again actually my dad wanted your dad to came yeah, right because my, my dad was unwell so he couldn't yeah. join them yep yeah kind of like that but yeah anything I mean like for my family at least like there are some represent from the family right okay. yeah so uh, that and then for moment, the wedding yeah. the entire family had come over to Delhi yes my family and oh. then they met my <laughs> all my my family and my yeah, big family mm -hmm. yeah so everyone was happy everyone was so happy so you know mesmerizing with the beautiful wedding and, and it was a wedding season and since it was a wedding, wedding yeah. season the venue where we are we were getting married so there was like three four functions the three four yeah uh, in the grand hotel yeah in the same venue yeah. the three four wedding was going on yeah so it was a very nice ambience yeah and you know, and you know in fact that's okay uh so my friends like alston ka alston and then like balias yeah. so many then, friends had yeah come down from us yes, from china from us from not china not china us indonesia indonesia china. Yes, yeah, Singapore. So they are like they came specially for our wedding, yeah. and, and to yeah, and thank you so much. And then you know what? I still remember the time that that time my cousin gave me, you know, because we were texting. So apparently I didn't, I I had no clue for the wedding function of India, so I didn't know like you know, you know, in fact that the wedding of. Our wedding started in the very late night. Our sister that helped us, like Kimmy helped for the arrangement, right? So actually, I you know whatever it goes, so I just like follow it. And in fact, that you know what, we were we were started in very late night, and then I like, Gabby, I still remember Gabby texted me, WhatsApp me, and then like Nita, dude, oh my God, Vin was riding the horse, and like, it was so fun, like you know. They were dancing right now because I was not there when Vin came and all and I was not there yet because I was uh, still with my friends, still with uh, Kyleston, with still with uh, Balias and all so I was still inside the room, I didn't have any idea I didn't have any clue that you know what's going on over that so after that that you know my friend i still remember that kyleston told me that nita are you sure you're gonna marry why because see till this time like nobody is coming nobody uh picking you uh nobody calls you for you know the function and all so i was like no 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 I, i'm sure that i'm i'm going to get married because they also don't have didn't have any clue that Oh, this is the Indian function wedding that you know the, the the celebration was very late and all so it was so much fun right so much fun and after that there was uh, I think oh there was Mehendi function kind of in your house yes. right but so I was not there function. because I had to like accompany my family also right yes like that and also um, my after the, the celebration done uh, my family came to Vin's house because Vin just purchased the house so my family wanted to see the, the house in Delhi so we were like okay celebrating with them and all kind of like that so yeah that's how we met
and now we are here. Yeah, and now we are here. We've been three years for the marriage, and I hope I'm looking forward for another year. Thousand and thousand. Thousand, thousand years. Thousand years. And I hope that yeah, our story can inspire you guys. <laughs> so yeah, maybe you can give some tips for you know because I, I I just found that so many Indonesians also that wanted to do the intercaste marriage. So can you give some suggestion maybe all from I can from say, the man's side? Yeah, all I can say is if your feelings are genuine and if your love is true, then you know. See, I understand. You know, sometimes families, you know. They don't agree. They don't agree. But you know, if your love is genuine, if your feelings are true, just go with then it. Then you just yeah, you just have to listen to your heart, what your heart says, and you just have to go with the flow. Everything will be fine. That's what I've realized from my experience. That that's what I've observed from my experience. And uh, you know, just be true, be yourself, and. Uh, if you if you have feelings for someone just say it don't wait just say it yeah. and you know you have to be confident enough to go and meet her, her or his parents and say that in front of their face that you know I love your daughter or I love your son so yeah that's from Vin's side and from my side I'm just you know especially want to tell you guys that when you love someone especially the intercast kind of whoever they are indians or whoever they are you just uh, love from your heart and first you have to know about the family kalau ini kalian orang indonesia yang watching i just want giving small tips in in bahasa ya kalau aku selalu punya prinsip jangan pernah beli ke ibarat kata jangan beli kucing dalam karung jadi kita tuh harus tahu banget kayak yang namanya bibit bebek gobot dari setiap keluarga uh, siapa pun pasangan kalian apalagi uh, pasangannya yang berbeda gitu kan berbeda negara jadi aku benar-benar kayak sejas ke kalian kalau kalian sekarang kayak ada planning mau nikah sama seseorang kalian ajak keluarganya datang minta specially ke kalian jadi gimana ya somehow it's not about the money that dia akan spend atau apa tapi it's about the serious things that mereka lakukan buat kalian jadi kalian juga akan merasa kalian itu worth it because for me you guys we girls are so worth it kita harus uh, apa ya intinya mengikuti semua alur sesuai dengan norma atau ajaran dari keluarga dan ya pokoknya hal-hal seperti itu dan intinya kalian main-main dulu kalau misalnya kalian ada punya pasangan orang India kalian main-main dulu ke India kedua kalian kenalan dulu sama keluarganya kalian holiday dulu walaupun sebenarnya feeling holiday dan feeling waktu kalian stay itu bakalan beda banget buat pokoknya kalian rasakan semuanya dulu kalian nikmati apakah memang ini serius jangan cuman karena umur jangan cuman karena apa ya tekanan dari keluarga kalian harus nikah dan segala macam jangan cuman karena itu kalian harus pikirin baik-baik karena pernikahan itu sekali pernikahan itu sangat sakral pernikahan itu selamanya bersama dengan pasangan kalian ya pokoknya kayak gitu guys so ya yeah. thank you so much for watching thank you See you. Jangan lupa. Share, subscribe, and follow uh, Nita Sofiani's Instagram, and subscribe YouTube channel, and uh, keep loving us. Yes, and don't forget if you guys want uh, some ideas uh, for our next collaboration. I mean, like for maybe for both of us or for me myself, just comment down below. And then thank you guys so much. I love you. Mwah.